Hello there, this is uh, Jitan Trump, The Grand Dialogue. And uh, this month, my guest is Jennifer Marks. Jennifer is the uh, you know, employee at Grad, and I'll, I'll give you a brief intro, but this is the time that the, what we call in the government uh, world in Kentucky, this is the funny season in Frankfurt, in a sense that there is a session that, you know, there's a budget session going on, which started in January, it's gone until almost mid-April. So with that in mind, our job at Grad becomes critical to inform the public and inform the elected officials as far as you know, what is coming up in the General Assembly, what kind of you know, rules or bills being proposed, what kind of change is going to occur, because everything they do in Frankfurt you know, has a direct impact on what happens at the local level and also at the level of the citizen level too. So in order to do that, you know, we do a legislative breakfast, inviting folks from all seven counties and their friends and families and neighbors to come in and talk about it, you know, have a dialogue with the legislators. And for that, I, I was, I'm proud to have Jennifer Marks to be the one organizing for grads. Jennifer, welcome on the Grad Dialogue. I know this is your first dialogue show appearance, so you know, we're gonna kind of have a chat about different things. Jennifer is our public administration specialist. Uh, prior to that, uh, you know, she was working uh, as an inter-city residential enterprise zone program coordinator for the city of Hopkinsville. We kind of stole, stole you from the Hopkinsville to Owensboro. Uh, she has a two degrees. Now, you know why we did that? Uh, from Murray State University, she has a Bachelor of Science in Political Science and a Master's degree in Public Administration. And uh, actually, not origin from here, she now resides in Owensboro and calls Owensboro as her home. Jennifer, welcome on the, on the Grad Dialogue. Now, I know that prior to we have you start Public Administration, you came in to do some uh, community development planning. Yep, I think that's sure. what's your expertise and everything right. you know, in that too, in the housing area. Yes. Okay. So let's just talk about uh, uh, the leg legislative breakfast, what it is why, and why we do this and also, you know, how does it impact or what you plan to do for this year? Okay, yes. Well, the legislative breakfast, kind of like Jatan has already mentioned, um, is uh, it's a forum for our local region. Um, to be able to come and have a kind of sit down, uh -huh. a little more, I almost want to say informal at the same time it's at our office, mm -hmm. that, um, conversation with their legislators that they wouldn't always get to do that because they're in Frankfurt so many, <laughs> so many <laughs> days of the year trying to get, you know, things going. Um, so we will be hosting it at the grad office. Uh -huh. um, it will be February 22nd mm -hmm. and it's going to be, there's going to be a breakfast provided and at around nine o'clock and then we're going to have the forum starting at around nine 30. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. That way we will be able to, uh, you can sit and have a, like an open questioning uh -huh. and answering mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. with your legislators. And um, the legislators will also have a chance to kind of go over um, just some of the things that they're either sponsoring the hot topics that are going on right now uh -huh. in mm -hmm. Frankfurt and different things like that. Mm -hmm. So if you are not sure if you have questions, you know, you'll get time to think of, you know, things when they start discussing kind of the stuff they're sponsoring in our area. So it sounds like the main mission for this whole event, which is, you mentioned February 22nd, which mm -hmm. is, I believe, is Saturday morning. Saturday morning, So yes. I know it's kind of tough to do Saturday morning. <laughs> yes. However, uh, the main mission is for people to voice their concern to right. the legislators. Yes. And the legislators you know, get a, get a, get a, get a platform to talk about what are they supporting or what are they against, or even to the point, ask what the citizens are thinking about in terms of the policies and regulations. Right. Okay. Okay. A lot of times I don't think that um, some of the citizens get that opportunity to really uh -huh. just sit down and have, a, again, we say one-on-one -on -one discussion, but it's really mm -hmm. informal. So if you have those questions or even getting that information, they don't always get that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And so this provides them with an opportunity right here at home or within their you know, region mm -hmm. um, to be able to mm -hmm. get those questions that they have mm -hmm. answered or just learn more information on kind of what goes on in Frankfurt during this session. Now, Jennifer, as, as we talk more about these things, uh, people can also find out about what is the, when is the General Assembly meeting or some of the calendars and all those things? Can they go on grad website or? Yes, uh -huh. uh, the grad website has a link uh, as well as the information on there. Um, uh -huh. You can even go to the LRC's website, uh -huh. um, Leg Legislative Research Commission, sorry. Um, uh -huh. And they have all, everything that's being passed. You can even see all the bills that are happening, where they're at in the process, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, being sent back to the uh -huh. committees or being out on the floor and signed into 
by the governor. It just <laughs> based on where that you can find all that information as well as committee meeting dates and things like that on uh, that website, mm -hmm. which is has a link on our website as well. Now the you know people who may not know about grad. They, <laughs> I don't know why they would not. <laughs> right. uh, however, uh, the, we do have a seven counties, mm -hmm. you know, the Davis, Hancock, McLean, Ohio, Union, Webster, and Henderson. Mm -hmm. And there are also quite a few legislators that serve those counties. Right. Can you tell us you know, who, who are we expecting on that Saturday morning uh, if all of them do show up? You know? Right. Well, yeah. we have um, sent out letters, mm -hmm. invitations, inviting them. Um, tomorrow we will be up in Frankfurt where we get a chance to talk to some of them, and I'm going to really ask and uh -huh. make sure that we can really see who's going to be there. We've got Suzanne Miles. Uh, we've got Representative uh, Lewis. Uh, we've got Representative Schmore. We've got Senator Mills, uh, Senator Embry, as well as Senator McCaslin um, that all ha have uh -huh. usually been there, um, as well as Representative Glenn, uh -huh. um, that we're hoping that they will be mm -hmm. there so that way we can mm -hmm. really get a full fill from all of the areas because mm -hmm. they all represent mm -hmm. a little bit different pieces of the region. So that was a test for you. You know, you remember all the names. I, I, I tried. I tried. <laughs> oh, what? Go ahead. We forgot one. We okay. forgot one. All Representative right. Winderstein. Yeah. Did I say that correctly? All right. Winderstein. Okay. Winderstein. Winderstein. You know, okay. Yeah. From Henderson. So, you know? Yes. Yeah. 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 And also, we are lucky to have some of the some of those legislators uh, uh, serve on the leadership position. I mm -hmm. believe Suzanne Miles is the minority or majority. Whip? Uh, yes. Okay, so that kind of gives us that, you know, maybe direct, a little more stronger connection to the things happening in Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. Then I think some of the uh, legislators are also serving as a committee chair. Right. I believe, uh, you know, uh, Representative Jim Gooch is very active in the mm -hmm. energy and environment on infrastructure. It's going to help us out that too. You know, right, so. and, and I think the thing that we have that's really good for our region is mm -hmm. that a lot of them have been serving in the capacity that they are in or even maybe switched over, um, mm -hmm. but still working in Frankfurt for a while. And mm -hmm. so they really have that kind of connection. And I don't want to say pull, that's not, but, you know, they really do have, and sure. um, they know how things work there and they really know how to get things done. And I think that's a really great opportunity for our region when it comes mm -hmm. to things. Like this. I think I think you're gonna hit the nail on how to get things done, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. because I think it's always in in, in politics, uh, the local, state, or Washington, and so you have to know the folks who has what different responsibilities and power and things like that. So mm -hmm. let's say that you know uh, now we know who's gonna be coming from the legislative side. Who are you inviting from across the seven counties? Uh, well, of course, we invite just everyone in general that lives within the seven county region. Um, one of the things that I wanted to focus on this year was uh -huh. working on inviting our um, younger population. Mm -hmm. I've been to a couple of the legislative breakfasts mm -hmm. in the past, mm -hmm. and um, that's, uh, you know, you kind of look around the room, and that's where we're a little bit lacking uh -huh. is, um, and that's a big push, I think, in general around right now is really trying to get, and young people being more involved. They really right. are. And so I want I want our region of young people to be involved. And so I have reached out to all the high schools in the seven county region, mm -hmm. as well as the colleges. I've gotten really good feedback from Kentucky Westland and Brescia mm -hmm. on them being really excited that this is offered um, and they're wanting their students to come. And so I'm really hoping that we will see a push for a more younger generation there mm -hmm. um, and maybe excite you know some good questions going on because the different generations always have a little bit of a different, more importance when it comes to things. And so mm -hmm, I think that would mm -hmm. be really neat to see. I think it's an excellent idea because I think more and more, you know, uh, we are not, we are not talked about that in the past too. We would like to see more youth leadership or young leadership mm -hmm. programs at, at, in the different communities in all seven counties, not right. just the major and you know, larger communities. And also create that leadership to get, think about invo getting involved in the cause of the issues at the local level and yes. in, in turn, it'll get a more regional perspective, and then I think it'll get into the state level too. So, you know, I, mean, I think you're seeing we are seeing that all across the country as mm -hmm. far as how younger generation is going to you know, change the outcome right. that traditionally has been not been that much involved. So, mm -hmm. Saturday morning, you know, that's a <laughs> you know, you and I, that's our job, right? And some of the elected officials, that's their, that's their job to mm -hmm. figure out what's going on, how it's going to impact the communities. As a general population, if they cannot make it on Saturday morning, you know, yes. what, what, what the, what, how can they participate? Okay, well, one thing that we have, I do believe that we implemented it last year, and we're really trying to push more to get more involvement, is uh -huh. the Facebook Live. Okay. So we will be Facebook Live, live streaming the uh, forum that day. And if most of you are familiar with Facebook, uh, you know that you can send questions and things like that on there as well. So we really want to be able to, those that, 
again, Saturday morning, it's a little early. Um, you want to just stay in your PJs, but kind of keep involved and engaged in what's going on. You can send questions from there. You can watch from your Facebook um, and just be involved in kind of what's going on. And you mm -hmm. actually, you don't have to get out of your house. I mean, we definitely want you to be there, of course, but you know, every now and then it just yeah. depends. And then Kim, uh, you know, Kim Wells, mm -hmm. the, the person working with you, the staff, she tells me it's going to be a great breakfast this time too. So it's, Well, then that's an even more good reason to get <laughs> yeah. out and come. Yeah. So, yeah. so now, now we kind of covered when it's going to be, why it's going to be, who is going to be invited, and who is going to be participating and everything else. So let's talk about what are some of the key issues that you feel like, uh, you know, that they could come up at that, you know, at that meeting, even to the point that, you know, uh, what are some of the issues that, uh, you know, many of the legislators may be, either sponsoring a bill mm -hmm. or, or co-sponsoring or even supporting strongly that would have an impact here. Yes. Well, right now with this legis this legislative session, we've got something really uh, different that we haven't seen really in modern mm -hmm. times with um, a Republican-led legislature with a Democratic gover a governor. Right. So it's just, um, I think that we're going to see a lot of, um, a little bit of difference for just cohesive with how the things are working mm -hmm. than what they did mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. So it, it'll be interesting to see how everything plays out. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the, the I guess there's they, they said the top five most things that uh -huh. are really being watched out for is our budget. Budget, of course, it's a budget year, so that's a top priority for people. Education. Education and school safety um, is a very mm -hmm. large um, concern right now and I believe it's Senate bill let me see Senate bill 8 uh -huh. about school safety with regards to the um, school resource officers um, being armed and being able to the superintendents being able to appoint mm -hmm. that one's mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. um, being discussed right now and I think we'll see uh, more from that one soon mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. another thing that has been on kind of everybody's mind I guess with discussion is the sports betting wagering uh -huh. gambling you know that's a that's a big you gotta thing. bring the money somehow yeah right right <laughs> and so I did see where um, more or less casinos have probably right. uh -huh. have been shut down at this point for uh, for anything further however the sports betting and wagering uh -huh. uh, with us being a, a horse racing you know uh -huh. state um, that's one of the big things and I know that they're looking at allowing for people to be able to wager on Kentucky UK basketball games as uh -huh. well as Louisville well sports wow. I guess all mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. um, and so there is a um, bill proposed right now that they're hoping you know might do that because it's with regards to coming to where is all this funding going to come right, from right, for right. gaining more revenue uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, a, a couple of other things that I know that have been top is voter identification um, uh -huh. Senate bill 2 regarding the um, people to be able to vote that don't have their identification on them mm -hmm, and things like mm -hmm. that and how you can go about doing that um, that bill lays out that process. Mm. Um, okay. So I think we're going to see a lot of discussion yeah. on those here in the... And, and uh, I know the <clears throat> uh, Governor Bashir, mm -hmm. you know, when, when he ran and he got elected, he has his own agenda with regard to some of the initiatives. Right. You know, from you mentioned that too, and supporting education, maybe the teachers to mm -hmm. the point, pension and other things. All that's going to take, require funding. Right. So... Right, and uh, I think yeah. that that's where um, <coughs> you have a good... Uh, they, there's a good opportunity there. Uh -huh. That's what really uh -huh. opens the door, I think, uh -huh. for, because uh, I believe it was last year's session that they, or 2018, um, that they basically just wagering in any capacity was just off the table. Uh -huh. But now uh -huh. we're we're having to figure out, well, where are we going to be able to fund these? Where are we going to make up the, the, the deficit that we already have, but uh -huh. also funding these uh -huh. other um, priority agenda things, you know, mm -hmm. um, and I, so I think that's what's opening the door this time mm -hmm. to, the, for that to be a potential mm -hmm. to pass through. And I, I, what I've seen over the, over the years that uh, oftentimes the cities didn't come in at those breakfasts we host mm -hmm. to talk about the, the continuation of ongoing programs and funding, you know, mm -hmm. even though all the things you mentioned are important, but at the same time, it's also important to make sure that we got a continuous funding on Meals on Wheels you know, right. for the seniors or even for the ad districts to continue <laughs> yes. to hire people like you, do right, the planning right. and everything else too. <laughs> so we don't want to you know, get that kind of bit uh, affected while they're looking at a newer and bigger issues that comes up you know, each year. So, right, so we yeah. want to figure out ways to fund those new uh -huh. things uh -huh. while you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, keeping the funding for the current <laughs> programs or even increasing it in some cases. Uh -huh. so. so really, uh, you, are, are they going to talk in specific? Or they're going to say, hey, everything is fine, you know, just well, I did talk to her, so-and-so said and everything. Are you going to ask them to talk about a specific issues on on, on their presentation? Yes. Yeah, so what we do is we really um, kind of have provided them with some issues that I think kind of 
would affect the entire region. Uh -huh. And we are asking that they speak on those specific things. And of I course, see. if they want to touch on other things that they, sure. you know, sponsor. Sure, sure. Um, but we're really wanting them to focus on what affects the grad region mm -hmm. and what and what affects us as a commonwealth as a whole. And mm -hmm. so um, I think that they will definitely touch on the stuff for this area. And then your questions, once people ask questions, they will obviously lead to more, yeah. um, more discussion. But we would it. like for yeah. them to... Yeah. Yeah. Definitely touch on what's going to affect us here. Jennifer, thank you for being on the show. Yeah, thank so you. So really, uh, to, to summarize, there'll be a legislative breakfast. Yes. Sponsored at Grad mm -hmm. on February 22nd. Yes. On which Saturday morning? Saturday, 9 o'clock is breakfast. Right. 9 30 nice breakfast. Good. Great conversation yeah. and everything else. Yes. And I believe that you also scheduled another one in March. March yes. 21st? Yes. Okay. okay. So we will also be having the, the same general uh -huh. principle that we're mm -hmm. talking about. Hopefully the session, you know, we'll start wrapping up and we'll see things going on and passing through at that uh -huh. point. Uh -huh. um, so there will be more of, I would say the questioning would be more of, well, how does this affect me? As That's opposed it. to what it would have been in the beginning. Right. Um, yeah. And so I'm excited to see uh -huh. that one because it's when you know that things are, you know, really happening and have changed. Jennifer, on a personal note, I'm so proud that you take on this charge yeah, you. and you know you did a tremendous job in planning what everything is. And I like the angle about the getting younger generation, getting involved yes. in the in the political process and everything. And yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank thank, you, thank you for watching Grad Dialogue. I'm talking to Jennifer Marks. She's uh, our public administration specialist. Uh, she's also organizing the legislative breakfast for grad on February 22nd. And second one is on March 21st. Again, please come down Saturday morning. Great breakfast, great conversation. You got to meet your legislators and also other elected officials and have a you know talk about what is bothering you that they could you know, have some impact on that. So again, thank you. Thank you. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me at the grad office, 926-4433. Have a great day.